Alright, hello everybody, it's Narita Tip. I'm here for your Pluto March 2021 reading. So this reading is for people who feel that in their natal chart, Pluto has a uh, interesting part to play in their soul's growth, in their soul's evolution, in their soul's journey, or that during the current Pluto transits that they are being affected <clears throat> and are learning lessons. It could also be for people who have Scorpio prominent in their chart. Um, yeah, so that's just kind of a brief overview. So welcome. So comment, like, subscribe to the channel. Commenting and liking just helps recommend it to more people. And subscribing, you know, keeps you in the loop. I do monthlies like this. I do full new moon readings book reviews, redemption readings, other readings I'm in the works, just things like that and just other talks that I have with you guys. So I'm going to be doing this reading and then Mars is next. So here we go. So Pluto, March 2021. So I was doing the cards and I had Cherry. So I don't know if anybody likes cherries, like the color cherry, the richness. Rich foods, rich reds might be really helpful for you. You might be really interested in red lipstick. You might be interested in just rich reds. So if red is your power color, March 2021 will probably be the season for you to do it and plus we go into Aries in March and so that's more fire um, but there's a richness about it an earthiness about this red that's really beautiful and lush and um, really nice also with this keep in not an eye out but when you're eating like pitted fruits notice i guess the center i don't know what it is about like the pit of it but the pit could be very important i don't know if you're actually trying to grow things so maybe you need to keep the, the pit or the seed or whatever but it seems like that's important just make sure also you don't like choke on it so be very careful with your body as far as eating make sure you're not rushing and scoffing down things Make sure you examine your food, you embrace yourself in the food. I think Pluto being in Capricorn, there's like a little bit of savoring that's almost on par with like a Pluto being in Taurus or something like that. So definitely I say make sure that <clears throat> you're eating really rich food, really nice food, and your senses are kind of alive, but pay attention as well. So we're going to use Tarot of the Cat People and then Mandala Astrological Tarot. So the first part is going to be this. Do I want this? I want this. Okay. I'm going to go to this instead because this is going to be the messages. Cha 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 cha. Okay, so we have upper world, lower world. Generally, um, these are pairs, and that each pair is its own story. Sometimes it comes out that it's a part of the whole, but generally how I'm finding is that it's its own story. So we have four of pentacles, and we have five of cups. So, <laughs> I 
with this, it's like you're paying money to feel bad. <laughs> Excuse me, I don't know if that's a diet, but it could be like something that you're emotionally consuming. It's like you're paying to be upset or you're paying to be unfulfilled. Like, like that's interesting. And people may think like, oh, like, why would somebody do that so stupid until you're like in it right so paying to feel bad um a simple example even though people would think it's controversial is paying for like fast food you know uh, most of it makes you feel bad it makes you feel bloated it makes you feel you know kind of sluggish particularly if you're like a work you know you work i've done that where like you're supposed to be bright and energetic can move around and then you eat such a heavy meal and that's probably where that richness comes in you need richness without the the heaviness you need rich in minerals without the heaviness so you know think about that so paying to be upset paying to stay um where you are in life paying to stay stuck I kind of feel like that's what's going on. So make sure that you're not paying, like actually giving money, but that also you're not <clears throat> energe energetically rewarding things that don't make you feel good, you know? So when you have things that you don't like, just cut them out. Communicate with Capricorn. You know, Capricorn is about structure and government and things like that. And they're also about power and money. It's like overcoming those power struggles, right? Understanding that you're in control. So for Pluto 2021 March, you just have to know that <clears throat> you're in control. You don't need to be so in control of emotions that you become like really violent or really stuck in your ways because Scorpio, as a sign, Scorpio is very, is fixed, right? So not staying stuck in your ways, being able to change. So for some of you, you guys have been in a slump for so long that someone trying to get you out of it almost seems like a power struggle where they're trying to get you under their thumb and trying to depose you from your power. But it's kind of like they're trying to help you get this together. And so you need to let somebody help you if that's what's truly going on. You need to let someone help you and you need to not be so stuck that you don't allow help because ultimately you'll lose a lot and then you'll wonder why there's four pinnacles you can't progress and you can't move forward and it's because you're putting energy and paying out to things that don't make you happy don't satisfy you you know you're not trying to transform because it's like you get <clears throat> some reward, some power, some structure from it, right? And then on destabilizing that is like really a problem for you guys. It's almost like the way I'm talking is like you're talking to someone who doesn't want to listen. You're talking to someone who's depressed, but don't want to listen. <clears throat> it's like talking to someone who's not home. Like nobody's home. So either you are going on autopilot so much that you're kind of not disconnected but it's just like you're just stuck in that that road and maybe it's a, a fear that you're gonna get disconnected if you move left or right because maybe that's what this is about over here but I think that you should recognize that this stuckness is yes it's a structure but it's not the right structure it's a structure that's causing you to 
be withdrawn and detached, but then also like mentally blank out. It just doesn't feel, it's like the mood shifted. It's like, it feels kind of withdrawn and quiet. <clears throat> It's almost like losing your voice. Interesting. So I want to say, if you need to call a hotline, go ahead and call a hotline. Um, I really don't know one. I'll try and put some in there nationally, but it just feels too quiet now. Like, it feels really quiet. Now, you could be planning something that's positive, but some of you, I don't know. I'm quite worried. So, we have the Chariot and the Five of Swords. Don't make any rash decisions with this Chariot because of this Five of Swords. <clears throat> and don't do anything that's reacting in anger. So, like, if you're angry, you need to chill out and not, um, not react and try to prove something and go for it with it because you're trying to escape, essentially. You're trying to prove yourself by pushing yourself in a direction and moving forward with it to prove something that you heard or something that you're trying to dispel or an energy that you feel. So it's like, this could be what comes, okay, this comes first. This is, okay, this is the situation. This comes first, this is your reaction, and then this is what you're running away from, and this is what you're losing essentially so this is a single story today when you get this it could be criticisms it could be thoughts that are low vibrational it could be with pluto even demons or something that's low vibrational attached <clears throat> attached to you don't let this box your mind in so boxing your mind in would be that you only see i'm surprised eight of swords isn't around um there there's no hope you can't do something you can't move forward things like that <clears throat> or people telling you that and it's also you believing that right you're believing that with this three of swords it's kind of like you know you shouldn't believe it, but you're still running or reacting as though you do believe it. And so you're running away from this. It's like you're running more towards this than you are this with the Ten of Pentacles. So, <clears throat> also keeping an open mind is that the solution can come from something somewhere outside of your known reality. And that's hard because you have these very closed in structures, but they're structures that point back to the self and they point to the self with this and this pinnacle. They point to the self, they make you the center of having to solve everything, and then they box you out also with this structure and getting anything outside of yourself. And I'm saying to you, you have to make sure that your mind is open, that if you don't have the solution, someone does. And you have to know that there is a solution to whatever it is. This is these both this is a disappointment card i think playing out over and over and over being disappointed over and over and over by people this is trying to find your positive happiness but it's attached to this five of swords which is that disappointment you can't do it you don't know the answer you're boxed in you can only do this this is the only way you can go and then this is kind of the depressive state or the 
animated the uh, automated state of following that road you know and there's some aspect of this wanting this chariot to be happier but it's not wanting this to be the road that gets you there that breaks the cycle and gets you to this ten of pentacles but it's not So don't be so hard on yourself. Don't turn things inward. I'm not going to say don't take things personally because I don't think that's it's that. It's the way that you're interpreting messages isolates you, keeps you in a box of what you think can be accomplished based on only yourself. And it's pulling you away from this Ten of Pentacles because you're reacting to those messages either internally or externally said or reflected in your reality. And you do things that you think are positive and moving you forward, but they move you away as opposed to forward. So it's just a cycle that has to be broken. So making sure that you're running towards things that make you happy and if that's the case things that make you happy are things that expand your awareness and break you out of your cycle and break you out of who you are and who you thought you were and this isn't important to you specifically but breaks you out of the prison that people saw you in or the prison that people saw you in prism and prison that people saw you in but that's not really your concern but that's the concern that drives this I think a little bit too much whether it's making someone proud proving someone that you can do something things like that and then when there is a failure a sense of failure it doubly compacts on you and you hunker down and that that fixed energy to just see it through because if you see it through at least you can say you completed it but it's like it causes this six of swords in it i'm sorry not six of swords this three of swords energy and you do i guess wish that you had six of swords instead because at least with that you know it denotes moving on But it's like it's the same cycle over and over and over again. So I guess with the fruit, eating it slowly, eating it, savoring it, observing it, you have to slow down your observance time. You have to slow down your interaction time with it. So you might need to, and I feel so slow. This video is going so slow for me. Um, you might need to really have slower discussions with people even to the point where like you you just talk really slowly is this what you're saying people may come at you like are right, something wrong with you like you know is something really wrong with you like this Mercury and Capricorn. Mercury and Capricorn is trying to figure something out. It's trying to get something together. It's trying to understand not all the angles, but I think it's trying to really measure what it's up against. And it needs it to slow down. Because if it doesn't slow down, and Pluto is the outermost planet, so it's the slowest moving planet essentially it needs to slow down it needs to not have things pass it by in a whirl and that's what this chariot card does because the moon moves like you know every other day is basically a new sign this one wants it to slow down this feels so slow <laughs> even i'm like man this is like the passage of time is like so slow in this video but slowing down a lot and i also feel like if you're drinking alcohol or taking substances your body is slowing down slowing down a lot slowing down a lot and it actually could be breaking down a lot 
And if you're really severely harmed yourself or your body severely injured or has gotten progressively worse, you need to take care because it could be shutting down as well. You could be shutting down as a person. And that's something you have to work on. You may be shutting down emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and then physically will soon follow, depending on how this goes. This doesn't seem like a really good situation for Pluto in March 2021, as far as the circumstances you've been walking into, but you can move forward but you need to slow down to that zero point of just being and you need to observe and not move i think once you start moving that's when things get a little complicated because you move too fast for even your own mental state or physical state or whatever to catch up and I think that once it does catch up, it creates this kind of like vertigo experience, Van Gogh impressionist experience, and it's not helpful. You guys could have been really severely impacted by the stellium in Aquarius. Like really affected like I don't have any air and I was really affected but you guys can be really affected because it's squaring you guys you know it's it's fixed energy that's squaring you guys not opposing but squaring and so it's challenging to find a solution it's not like opposite where like opposites attract and a solution comes through an outside force or reflecting back to you something that causes you to think it's challenging and so you may have been so challenged that you've kind of shut down and you've given up and we got the high priestess in the palace of air yeah getting clear this month is just really important really important but slowing down enough with that swords energy making rash decisions gambling taking wild bets wild scenarios wild thoughts really isn't helpful and it could take a lot of people down down into the dumps into the depths and maybe you need to go down there because there's an addiction that needs to be unsolved or uncovered or whatever but it just feels like the slower you get, the more clearly you'll be able to see without shutting down is kind of what you need to get. You can't shut down. You have to be observant and then intentionally take actions, right? Next is your somatic reading. You have a lot of cups. So you have the Queen of Cups, Ten of Cups, Knight of Cups. Some of you guys could be drinking a lot. Some of you guys, because th this just feels too slow. This is too slow. Like, this is too slow for me um, as far as what I'm pulling. Because I did Reiki. I activated Reiki. But it just seems so, like, my hand's just, like, so. And so I don't know if like you guys are witnessing things in like real time. I don't know if that's what's happening. Like it just seems like really spaced out. If that's the case, listen to something that's upbeat, up tempo, something that you can move and groove to. Because this being too this being really slow and this is coming through now adamant, like 
now I've shifted to like being very adamant with you guys. If you are feeling really slow, you need to move and you need to do something that's a little quicker pace. And what I mean by that is, I'm not saying, because it seems contradictory, you need to intentionally move. That's what I'm saying. Intentionally moving is different than just getting up and fucking doing something. You need to intentionally get up and go for a walk. Intentionally read. Intentionally listen to music. Intentionally do things that keep you up. Be in your spirits up. That's what this is about. But it has to be intentional. Because there's a few vices. The way that you intentionally... Um, have heaviness because some of you guys it is kind of choosing heaviness it's the same way that you have to choose the upbeat the things like that right and if you're someone who doesn't make decisions that's kind of also why things are blurred because the person it's like being in a car like okay I I'll give you an example I'm pushing 30. I didn't start driving until I was like, well, okay, I'll be 28, so I'm 27. I got my license when I, in 2019, like my, my license, like the first phase of it from where I'm from. So that's two years ago or something like that. So 26. Choosing to do that put me in the driver's seat to where I have to intentionally move myself forward, right? I have to get in the car, I have to start the car, I have to drive. I am in control of that. Pluto in Capricorn wants to be in control of that. And you need to be. So some of you guys are going through a maturation process, some of you guys are depressed. And what it's saying is you are in this driver's seat <clears throat> and some of you guys are going to sleep at the wheel. And that is not an intentional, purposeful action. And that's very dangerous. You have a lot of cups on the board. So if you guys are experiencing mania, if you guys are experiencing really detached moments when like you're really high and you're not grounded, because March 2021, go back and watch that video, is about grounding. Not that you are stuck, but that you are rooted in your experience in your life and that you're intentionally moving forward with your life. Some of you guys, depending on who you are, and this is very forceful, are very close to being stuck in the mud permanently or doing something that permanently alters yourself okay this could be drinking too much this could be drinking and driving but you are intentionally moving yourself forward that's what you need to do that's what you need to think I am intentionally moving myself forward I intentionally move myself forward I intentionally move myself forward that's what you guys need I am in control of my life say it again I am in control of my life one more time I am in control of my life and I think you guys with these cups may not feel in control you may feel like you're being driven around and when you look out the window this impressionist scene comes forward and you're like I don't know I don't know what we just passed I don't know what we just went through I don't know what we just happened get tell the person tell this energy tell this entity you know pull the fucking car over and you get in the driver's seat and you take the map, and you look at where you're going, and you set the GPS, and you ask Alexa or Siri or whatever it is, where, where's, you know, these, this is where I want to go, what are the directions, or your spirit guides, right, because Siri and Alexa are like the spirit guides, 
and they tell you and you follow that but that's intentionally working with them having a goal a destination in mind being open though to allowing for pit stops detours delays things like that and not just shutting the car off you know you have a detour you just shut the car off but you're in the middle of the woods somewhere right you're in the middle of the woods you have no food your phone's going out of service you don't have a charger being prepared being intentional about where you're going not getting discouraged being safe doing things that are safe doing things that put you in a higher state of mind that's what you need so and then the Ten of Wands, because that's a burden to not be in control. All right. I hope that you found this useful. I hope that you found this helpful. I hope that you found this something to pause you and shake you out of what you've been in. Okay? I will go and see if I can find national hotlines or anything like that. And I'll put them specifically in this one or pin a comment or something. Because I think... Some of you guys really need it for this month. I don't know why. But thank you for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.